Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to the tour of my kitchen here with the lemon theme. As you might remember, this is from last Thursday, this tablescape, and I did the rest of my kitchen around this tablescape. So let's head on in over here and see what I did. Okay, first off, we're going to start with the tablescape from last week. And I don't know if anybody can hear all the noise in the background here, but it is super windy here. And I keep hearing the screeching noise, like metal screeching. Almost reminds me of Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh my gosh, flashback to being a teenager. Ugh. Well, okay, with enough of that, let's get going here. So this is the tablescape I had on Thursday. And it inspired me to do the rest of my kitchen, the little parts that I do decorate with the lemon theme. So I have my little antique picture here with the lemon theme in it. And up above here, and I want to apologize for the lightning in here. I had to shut all the blinds as the sun is starting to go down. And everything makes a major glare in the kitchen since we're on the west side. And even the lights on here make a glare. So I do apologize for the lighting here. I got this Tabasco basket at Walmart and of course the topiary picture with the lemons in it and I painted this frame black and I did whitewash this uh, basket a little bit more because it was more gray. I add a little bit of greenery and some daisies to it. So now let's go over here to the island and I have my three-tier tray here and I've shown this before. It Looks like a flower. Come up here so you can see it's got petals. And I just love this thing. I got it at Tuesday morning. And I have my little limonade container that I got at uh, Home Goods a few years ago. And so it inspired me also to do, instead of lemonade, it's limonade. So, like when they say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, me, I'm decorating, as you can see, with lemons and limes. So, when life gives you that, you make limonade. And this is how, I'm just gonna get over here. Oh my gosh, so much of a glare with all the lights. Let me see if I can just pan down a little bit. Maybe a little better. And I have this little sign here. You might not be able to see it too well. With all this lighting, I, sorry about that. It says, squeeze the day. And this is another one that I got at Walmart, and I painted this frame in the yellow. So I can get up here. Might be able to see it a little bit better. And I made this bow up here, and I put the little yellow button in there, and I did, then I just hot glued the little black one in the middle. Okay, the other area that I decorated is my corner sink. And you might see that there's some water flowing right here, but what happened is we had to switch out our triple osmosis system here with this little faucet, and right now we're purging it. So it's going to be dripping and make a little bit of noise. So I have my little bistro man here. He's fine. He looks better if I turn out the light. Okay, he does look a little better there. And he's my bistro man here. And he holds a bottle of wine, but now he's holding a bouquet of lemons and daisies. And, of course, a few limes in there, too. I haven't decorated with him in a while. I usually put him in my dining room. And then I just added a little bit more of the lemons and limes at his feet. A little bit of greenery. Okay, the next area, actually the last area, I'm going to pan over here. And yes, I keep my kitchen real. This is all the stuff that I keep out all the time. When I did my blogging and would take pictures, I would take everything off. But I decided with the videos, I'm going to be true. Now, this is what I did about the refrigerator. Now, I will come back over here on the other side and stand on the bar stool and show you a little bit better view of it up high. Hold on well, I seat. actually decided to stand on the countertop here on the island. A little bit better view. So, I normally had the two little containers here on top of my antique scale, and I just added this black and white ceramic basket that I added the other topiary 
picture from Walmart that I painted the frame black. Put that in there. And I put my double topiary up here too. I normally have it where the bistro man is in the corner there. But since I wanted him there, I thought I'd throw this up here. And I added, I just put lemons up here and some daisies. Kind of ran out of limes in the rest of the area. So that is what I did on top of the refrigerator. you enjoyed my little tour of my lemon themed kitchen today. I will definitely be getting my next video up which will be the Thursday tablescape of course and I'm hoping on Monday, next Monday, that I will have that bookcase done for you. I did get started on it and got a little bit of video done but I had to do get the yard work done this weekend and now that it's getting warm I'm going to be doing a lot more yard work. We're on about three quarters of an acre here and yes I do my own yard work here because I love to do it. I don't know why. I don't know why I like to pull weeds but I do. I love to mow. I love the smell of the fresh cut grass and plus it gives you some exercise. It helps out. So I should have the bookcase done by next Monday and I'm going to be doing more of a step-by-step -step on that one. Not fully step by step, but pretty much, because it does take a long time to do the painting when you have to do a few coats. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, I'd appreciate that big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would really love for you to hit that subscribe button down there and make sure you hit that little bell for the notifications. And I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.